first check whether advanced restart button is available or not as you can see it's not available in this ROM it depends upon ROM to ROM and disable the security options here as you can see don't keep anything keep it none it will be helpful to flash ROM easily and power off the device Once the smartphone turned off, use the volume up button and power button. Press them simultaneously until it boots into recovery. You can leave this power button once the POCO logo appears and continuously press the volume up button until it boots into recovery. As you can see, this is the TWRP recovery I am using for this POCO X3 and go into wipe and select advanced wipe and select da select dalvik cache data and swipe to wipe once that has been done go to install and select the sd card and wherever you downloaded the file select that and first flash the firmware here surya global 12.5.3 as you can see after that flash the rom here i am using pixel experience surya let me go back is this yeah there is a pixel experience surya now it's get flashing the older version wasn't flashing so no need to worry if you follow this same method with same recovery used you won't get any problem while flashing this rom you can read out here this with latest build with january 19th as you can see the rom has been flashed now go again to wipe again and press here format data and type yes and select this tick mark done later go into reboot and select system that's all you will be booted into pixel experience and a 12 based custom rom for poco x3 there's a latest build available for poco x3 stay tuned till the end of the video such that you will understand what all the bugs features and bgma gameplay everything will be explained in this video as you can see it's booted into pixel experience and atoll official for poco x3 <laughs>
dark then it would be much better in my opinion apart from that let's see the dialer and I'll keep this volume as you can see I'll turn on this this is how the volume panel you get and this all the settings you get and from here also there is like this one live caption is also given here which is not a problem I'll turn it off for time being and direct video call feature is available in this room let's see whether we get any call recording now you won't get any call recording in this rom and app openings you can check out here how quick it is and speed test i will be showing like here i have 100 mbps plan geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 which is not bad good thing even with mobile data also i checked there is no problem in mobile internet also depends upon your network location guys and here it's power buttons you get power of restart lockdown and emergency you can edit some of the options like i have already edited me sound enhancer has been included in this room i mean the direct sound settings this is how the quick settings panel you get and into the home screen there are like widgets as you can see okay clock and these android 12 widgets are working fine the smooth smoothness of the ui you can check out from the start until now it's really good actually as you can see just smoothly wipe here you will get into app drawer app openings also very very good as you can see it's quick enough and into like you will get google go camera as pre-installed gcam i mean camera here if you want you can use any gcam ports or even if they give you anx port it would be better still we don't get anx support for any of the android 12 roms i hope that will fix very soon and coming to safety net status it's get passed no need to worry about this as you can see no need to worry using payment applications everything will going to be working fine here without any problem you can use all the applications this is the basic pixel experience with all the pixel features i mean level one certification is also given you can watch the hd resolution content in ott application and google photos many people ask about this make a note you will get unlimited storage no need to worry in that criteria you will get all the basic settings and safety app is also installed and recorder app is also installed this you will find in android 12 pixel experience rom only and fm radio is also been given in this rom just run this 3d mark uh, initially i wasn't able to run this app but right now i have done and what a score guys awesome experience with this pixel experience rom as you can see 100 percent i never got with any of this in recent times you can check out here overall score is 1133 and average frame per rate is 6.80 and here your score versus this model your score is better than 100 percent of score for the xiaomi poco x3 excellent rom as you can see 17 percent of the result from all other devices this high-end test made in smartphones 3d benchmark not just this i will be showing you the bgma gameplay also you can think like this like MIUI Mint and this one Pixel Plus UI 4.0 these are like performance oriented ROMs it depends upon you to choose between these what I mentioned and some other very close to this are like Evolution X and some of the ROMs will be very close to this but they excel in some of the customization here there is no customization here if you want customization you can try Pixel Plus UI 4.0 and in MIUI versions MIUI Mint you can judge based upon your whatever your features you need you want to make a montage or you have a gaming channel or you want to push a rank based upon what you are doing with BGMA or any other game like Call of Duty, PUBG New State make yourself a decision and check out and these are like high performing ROMs you can check out here the scores and also I will show you the gameplay it up to you to decide how it will handle the games and what is your need i hope you guys understood about the performance in this rom i will complete with settings here and network and internet basic things are working fine not a problem and wait a second 
and connection device is also working fine into the apps you get default apps here as you can see and this game settings is also given here game dashboard you can enable you can enable this also do not disturb for games and home launcher is pixel launcher you can change the browser if you want a default browser as some other like brave etc you can change from here even dialer also you can change if you want to change it like true color you can change from here and the game settings i explained assistant is also working fine not a problem in this rob and special app access you can check out plenty of options like picture in picture if it is available you can get it and unrestricted data you can check out all the basic settings of android 12 are included and working as it is in any pixel devices no problem in such things the developer done very good job in order to get for this surya karna poco x3 x3 nfc whatever i really enjoyed just that dark theme which if it is pitch black then i would have not removed this rom for couple of days such a good rom this is for basic use if you are in such kind of person you can use this and coming into battery as you can see the battery usage hasn't recorded i turned off turned on many times maybe because of that the results have been vanished but anyhow you can check out here turn on light when charging battery percentage you can enable no customization in status bar or quick settings like we have in pixel plus ui like that i am again and again telling because those are different roms compared to this rom optimization profiles are given and extreme battery saver you can reduce the refresh rate when the battery saver is toggled on you can disable also this very cool feature and turn off and charge these things you can adjust from here this all the battery settings the battery life is also going to be very very good trust me it takes little bit of time to get you very good battery life use it for couple of weeks then only you will get a better battery life and coming to sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here included with me sound enhancer as i said earlier also you can choose the headphone type and a preset and touch vibration feedback let's see whether it's there or yeah, as you can see vibration and haptics are given from here you can disable or enable from there into the display settings brightness level is there adaptive brightness is also working fine without any problem and screen timeout you can choose here dark theme as i said before it's not in pitch black condition display size you can adjust from here actually you need to keep it small then only that many icons can be fit into the app drawer it depends upon you guys how you want to be and night light feature is there let me show you as you can see this is how you can increase the intensity also colors you can choose here boosted and saturated are better natural it's a little bit off colors it also depends upon you how you like minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate both are given you can choose from one here whatever you need that you can customize lcd features are also included this how the display settings wallpapers and style explained already security feature just you get a fingerprint unlock let me show you the speeds here quickest just tap unlock just tap unlock as you can see it's very very quick these are the security features there is no face unlock or anything like that obviously in pixel experience you won't get such things privacy settings also updated based upon android 12 you can check out and location is also working fine into the system there is a language and input and keyboard you can select here like yeah, as you can see gboard you can change the themes here not a problem some people ask about this in instagram some are asking about this i can't change the themes of keyboard you can change from here and coming to like i'll come back these are the things you get in the language and input and gestures system navigation as you can see there is no adjustment to increase the pillin but this is how the pixel experience what we get into the accessibility menu where i missed this okay you get extra dim feature magnification is there select to speak is there accessibility menu which is a handy feature without using the uh, volume buttons and without dragging this you can access the brightness and volume and some of the options this is a very cool handy feature most people ignore that but it will be useful when you use certain apps and switch access is also included in this rom vibration and haptics here also there is a separate option live caption 
from here also you can enable from volume button as you can see there are plenty of options in live caption also no need to worry that all are included as and when it's get updated you also get updated in this if you flash the latest rom zip file the updates are also okay for pixel experience within a month sometimes two sometimes three also but i recommend to flash clean flash it to get the maximum stability and benefits from the rom sound amplifier is also given here sound notifications also you can adjust from here plenty of options in accessibility many of them don't see it under the hood you can check out here talkback is also given these are the settings and as you can see smooth enough the rom is smooth and ram management it's booted out of the memory obviously many apps are not in the memory but it's good rom some things are really good some are very good and some are just good now such an okay now without wasting any time let's see the bgmi gameplay here how it will handle in pixel experience for surya karna poco x3 nfc whatever as you can see i kept 100 percent volume and graphic settings you get just smooth plus ultra there is no smooth plus extreme option available if you want you can use the file method transfer or like gfx tool to enable 60 fps it's fine enough okay someone has been okay. Okay, I will come back. I hope I shown showcase you the BGMA gameplays and everything I have been explaining out and this is how the performance and this is the fingerprint unlock once again and this is the pixel experience and at all official build for Poco X. If you like the video, give it a like and if you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe guys. I am making videos for your sake. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Many people are just watching but not subscribing it subscribe it and give it a like if you like and thank you for watching this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now